Hey, Revolution, everybody. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, coming to you with a few minutes of truth. Uh, before I get into on what we're going to talk about today, I want to give a shout out to uh, Tim Clinton uh, and his uh, social media for providing this video. See, sometimes in, in what we do, you know, uh, we have videos that go viral and then they stop. Then they could become viral again. Uh, we had that happen last month with um, the Detroit fight. Uh, New Era went up into uh, Wayne, uh, Wayne T. Jackson's church and had a fight. But then sometimes we'll have a situation where a video will be online for, for a significant amount of time and then all of a sudden it blows up. Well, Mr. Clinton posted on his page, I believe it was yesterday um, or today, he posted up on his page a video uh, where Matthew Stevenson made some interesting comments. Out of those comments, he made, he made reference to uh, people's appearance, as he typically does. He also made reference to people's um, you know, um, the way that they look, the way that they dress. And he also made reference to um, sexuality issues. Okay. Now, let me break this down for you. I'm going to break this down for you. And then we're going to watch the video because you know this is what I do. I'll give you the video, but I'm going to give you what I have to say first. I want you guys to recognize and to know that not only do I give you this information, for your um, benefit of, say, exposing the preacher or to say that I'm talking bad about the preacher or whatever. No, that's not all that I do. What I really want to do is break down and expose the game uh, behind what the preachers are doing. So, in the attempt that I'm going to try to do is try to break down this uh, video in the way that this game is being played by the people that's involved by uh, Matthew Stevens and his congregation. When you watch the video, of course, he's going to say something stupid about, about men's wives loving him because of his shirts and jeans. Of course, he's going to say something stupid like that. Then he's going to go on to say something just as stupid that your wife is thirsty so she's thirsty after you and that you need to that you as a husband need to keep your wife fed then he's going to go on and say something to the point of if you're single if you're single then you shouldn't be ugly fat without makeup and think that you're going to want a husband or get get a husband or whatever all right so that's basically the gist of the video what i want you to know is in this type of video there's a couple things going on number one number one this is what i say and what i call conditioning preachers do this all the time what conditioning is is basically dropping hints of situations that may or may not go on in a particular situation and when you drop these hints you basically condition your listeners to the inevitability that a certain activity or certain um, a certain uh, event may happen where the desired response is what the preacher wants okay let me break that down for you when he's talking to you about when Matthew Stevens makes a statement in the video where he says, um, husbands, keep your wives fed. And, you know, it's not my fault that the, that the women like my shirts and jeans. Okay. What he is actually saying to you is this, is that he is telling you that husband don't get mad when you find out that I'm actually sleeping with your wife. 
But he's conditioning you as to say that the reason why I'm sleeping with your wife is because you did not keep your wife fed. That's the conditioning. That's what he's trying to play on you. But don't be surprised when you catch me sleeping with your wife. It's your fault. Okay? That's 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 the, that's number 1. Number 2, the second thing is is that he tries to make it so that the reason why men are not having or not having relationships with you sisters is because men are unattracted to you so then they become attracted to men that if you become more attractive then men would be see would see you as being more attractive that's problematic on so many levels so many levels because truth be told you know a man take them tall short skinny fat ugly we've seen couples of all types of variations that has nothing to do with it but what he is trying to do on this conditioning is say don't be surprised if you find me with another man because the woman that I'm with may seem to be unattractive listen people it's all about the conditioning all he's trying to do is basically set up and lay the groundwork for his infidelity whether it's with a woman with someone's wife in the church whether it's with some single woman in the church or whether it's some man this is what the thing this is some of the things that preachers do from time to time when they lay the groundwork for you so now say for instance in the next year or so Matthew Stevenson is found out to have an affair doesn't matter who the affair is with whether it's male or female husband single wife single who doesn't matter who the other person that he's having an affair with he's already conditioned his people to sit up there to say well it's the wife it's the husband's fault because the husband didn't keep the wife the wife was lusting after the man of god so now we're going to project the blame all that stuff is being laid oh all these single women in this church are not attractive so the man is sitting up there attracted to the man of God, projecting the blame. But in reality, we have to look at where the blame lies. But we don't do that because we, are, we have been conditioned to think otherwise. So I just wanted to lay that out for you as we go into this video. Yeah, it's all ridiculous anyways. The statements it makes are ridiculous. But I wanted to get that out there to you so that you can understand the game and how people use their words to manipulate you into a thought that you would not regularly be thinking. And conditioning happens time and time and time again. We could probably, if we decided to go through, if I decided to go through, you know, his vast library of videos, statements like this are not uncommon to this brother a lot of preachers are like that they condition you all the time and you, you get examples of this all the time they talk about how you know when you're giving your tithes and offerings on all the different things about your tithes and offerings basically what they're trying to tell you is give me your money and don't ask questions about why I got it it's all the same deal all about conditioning people don't allow Matthew Stevens to condition you to justify his mess because if it comes out mark my words these are going to be some of the excuses that you're going to see you understand what I'm saying all right this is brother Leonard the truth seeker here's my few minutes of truth once again shout out to uh, brother Tim um, listen brother if you get a chance I'm, I'm I want to tag you on this video, but if you get a chance, I just want you to know that we might need to um, to um, connect up every you know connect up very soon. I might even you know you know might come up to Cleveland, you know, so that we can break bread, bro. Because I got a lot of I got a lot of questions for you, 
And I need, and I, I got a lot of questions I need to ask you, bro. Trust me, we, we we need to we need to hook up. We need to sit up there, connect, brother. All right, everybody else, this is Brother Linda, the Truth Seeker, coming to you with a few minutes of truth. Once again, revolution. With your wives, that's why they're so distracted by my shirt and jeans because you ain't giving them none. You need to take care of them. I'm out here now. I feel the anointing. It's a dangerous thing to have an unkept woman. If you take care of your woman, you wouldn't be worried about what I got on. She's thirsty. Feed that lady. Make sure her appetite is... I'm talking to your ugly self. Make sure her appetite is quenched. You a single woman? You talking about all the men being feminine? You not going to convert them with your belly like that. Get your tail ready for me. I'm, I don't care. Get ready for marriage. If you were their last option, no wonder they're going to men. Align yourself. Get your makeup together. Take your grandmama's hair off. You ain't ready for marriage. Hallelujah. You ain't ready. Revolution. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker. Thank you for viewing this video. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment and clicking that like button. Also, if you do like what I do, please subscribe to this channel and share this video and others on my channel on your social media. If you want more information on what we do within the Church Folk Revolution, go to facebook.com slash the Church Folk Revolution, all one word, the Church Folk Revolution, and join the movement. Once again, this is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, Revolution.